scared. That storm's rolling in. A little bit of lightning going on there. Turn the lights off. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't know if you see that. Hadn't moved back. The guy messaged me. Hey, uh, not too nice uh, uh, recording of the National Weather Service, but it wasn't uh, actual weather service. It was something else. <laughs> I can't repeat it, but anyway, uh, good friend of mine, he uh, texted me that message thing on uh, Facebook Messenger. I was like, okay, oh crap, here we go. It was so funny. I've been back and forth with it. I don't know. You can see the lights in town there. I, we have power and everything. I just, I like to turn the lights off and watching the lightning. And the wind's supposed to be about two to three miles an hour. I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, that way. Lights out there on my canopy. Lights up the old part of the there. Here. Oh, God. Anyway. <coughs> I grew up on uh, old light bulbs and stuff, man. Old yellow ones, you know, they wasn't no white ones, they were just that old. Whatever you call them, old bulb, element, light bulb, goodness. I got the air going fast, I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. It's about 70-ish. A little over 70 degrees outside. It's real nice. But you keep up with the weather. I've got two apps. I got the uh, National Weather. I got the Weather.com, and I've got Weather Bug on my phone. And I guarantee you, it's gonna come out. Why is that thing crooked? Am I sideways? There. I hope that's good guys. I don't remember how I turned it on. But anyway, I got two weather apps on my phone and that way I get one or the other going to go off. But there's nothing severe. It's just 100% chance of rain. That's good. Yeah, if I ain't going to get hungry. Oh, uh, I keep the app on my phone. The reason I turn my air down, I want to get it cold in there. If the power goes off, it's, it's going to get warm. So if I get the walls inside here cold, then the power goes off, I've still got my lights. And 12 volt water pump, got my fresh water tank full, and go to the bathroom. I dump my tanks today. Uh, As long as I don't empty, my deep freeze is going to stay cold. It'll stay cold for 12 hours, as long as you don't really open it up and dig around in there. Uh, I don't have anything frozen in here. My milk and stuff, and sandwich meats and stuff like that. Man, that's some watermelon. Man, that's some good stuff. I got some watermelon cantaloupe today. In fact, I want to eat me some cantaloupe here a little bit. But anyway, I can move that over to the deep freeze. That deep freeze is going to stay cold uh, for a long time. And long enough for the power to get restored to come back on. Got a new battery. And I'm going to get with someone I've hooked two batteries up together years ago. 
but I, I had to YouTube it and how to put two batteries together. My problem is that this is a 12 volt system. I don't want to uh, people over there have their blinds open at night sometimes. I don't want them to think how my people talk. This is a 12 volt system. If I link up two 12 volt batteries, I don't want it to end up being 24 volt and blow fuses and stuff. So I got to be careful. Don't just go out there and try to do stuff and you don't know for sure about it. You, you know, I'm not saying that I'm a dummy, you're a dummy, but uh, I need a refresher on having two batteries and then still maintain 12 volt. So, uh, Always be careful. Any kind of electrical wiring, 12 volt, 115, 220, whatever. Be careful, guys. Uh, you, that is a costly mistake. I made more money. People trying to do their DIY, their own data cable, and their own plumbing. Back when I did plumbing, I loved those people. They made me a lot of money. And depending on, I, when I go to a place and they screwed up something in the plumbing, I can just about tell you if they can afford it or not. If they couldn't afford it, I might well leave that have done it. I might well charge them like I would somebody that's making $100,000, $200,000 a year. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Uh, so, but not all companies are that way. They're not after our weekend holidays, man, they charge crap out of it. I've went out on holidays, Sunday afternoon. I, you know, if I'm home, I'm going to go through church. And then after church, you know, I'm here. I'll go do you know, I'll help you out, fix it, temporarily fix it till you get your own plumber, you know, and that'll save you a lot of money, or I'll do it myself, you know, if it's something that can be fixed, I'll just fix it and charge you a little bit, there have been times, I swear, I, I've never even charged people, depend on who they are, the elderly, someone on the fixed income, you know, and that's the way we ought to be, we all ought to be like that. We stopped an old boy was pulling a horse trailer and it was full of things that him and his wife would make. Leather goods, things like that. They would go to rodeo to rodeo around the country. They'd set up shop and they'd sell. That's how they made their living. They would set up shop and sell their stuff at these rodeos and uh, he had a plan on that horse trailer they had to fix up all their stuff in and uh, they didn't have a lug wrench Jack wasn't working right me and old boy working with we stopped over there and uh, he had a good spare he just couldn't get it swapped out. They were in a hurry trying to get to Lubbock or wherever they were. I think they're actually going to Oklahoma City to a rodeo. And, uh, man, we sat there and busted our butt. We got done pretty quick because he had a four way. He had a good jack in his truck. And, uh, I got up under that song gun, set that jack up, jacked up. He started breaking them lug nuts. And we swapped that thing out, picked him up by about 30 minutes. That guy, and I didn't know it, uh, they were real thankful, real thankful, grateful for what we'd done. And I didn't know it. I would went load up everything, wiping my hands off, you know, the more tires, it'd get black all over me. And it was hot. And uh, so I got everything back in the truck and finished wiping myself, my hands off and stuff. And uh, by the time I got in the truck, 
train, old boy, got in trouble. And uh, they pulled off with the trailer. They were taking off. And uh, we got down the road. We were just down the block after they left. You know, they were all down the road. And uh, he had me a hundred dollar bill. And I said, yeah, what's that for? He said, well, they gave me two hundred dollars for us to change that time. I'm like, you're kidding me. Why I was, they offered it to me. He said, I turned them down two or three times and he forced it down in my pocket. And man, I was like, you know, and I've seen him do that. And I, you know, I'm thinking, well, he's just saying, no, we don't want your money. No big deal. We're just happy to help you. I didn't see the guy stick two hundred, two one hundred dollar bills in his pocket. I'm like, man, you know. But uh, you never know. You go out and help people, and uh, just for the feeling here that you help somebody. So, anyway, I, here I am rambling on. I see it's a good night, but uh, I always help each other, help one another. That's the way the world should be. That's the way humans should be. Uh, we were created to be social. I'm not that social, but I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to be rude and not help somebody. I'm just not made that way. And, uh, but anyway, I think the storm's going to miss us right here. I think it's going to go to the west of us and go kind of north where it's looking. But I'm prepared. So, always keep your fuel full and all that stuff. Keep everything ready. Keep flashlights. You got phone, you know, your phone got a flashlight. If it starts to go down, I can go out there in my truck, plug it up, charge it right back up. I got USB port, charging ports right there in the entertainment center. It comes off 12 up. RVs are the way to go when it comes to survival and bug out. Think about it, people. And uh, it's in his fun. They've got some nice RVs. I look at the uh, RV I couple, and they got like a little mini mansion on wheels, you know. And uh, that, and, and this here, you've seen my videos on the Casita. I love that Casita. I, I won't lie to you, I love that Casita for myself. And, uh, I mean, it was perfect, and I made some point, I don't know, I got some mixed feelings and directions I'm going to try to go. Uh, I want some land somewhere where there's nothing. I don't want no utilities. The only thing I may have to have is be a composting toilet or I might have to do a septic and uh, but water I've got ways of doing water I've done it before I had a uh, old travel trailer I loved that thing that was pretty cool uh, it was an old heavy son of a gun man that thing was heavy and uh, I had some land and I had cows and when they were calf I would uh, me and my little Paco my little buddy he passed on 17 years I love that dog death man he would go with me everywhere I said you ready to go boy he'd just be all excited and uh, I love dogs I do but anyway we go out there and we stay in that trailer and uh, I had a, uh, I think it was a 200 gallon water container. And I set it up to where it would gravity feed. It gravity feed in the trailer. I kept extra batteries. I swap them out, at, you know, or I took up my truck and charged them while I was out on the tractor or something like that. But we would stay out there in that trailer while they were camping. 
dogs, cows, wild dogs, wild hogs. And what they go after is afterbirth. And then ultimately they'll kill the calf, you know. But anyway, I love that thing. That was old trailer man, had propane, I had it all set up. But I didn't have it hooked up to anything, you know. And uh, it had, uh, I had my own set up composting toilet. And, uh, man, it was good. So, uh, it can be done, people. I remember opening up the curtains over the kitchen sink, and I would start fixing breakfast. The, the uh, refrigerator in that thing was 12 volt. It was 12 volt on propane. I never used propane except for the uh, cook top in the oven. And if it got chilly, I'd just turn the burner on low to get it nice and warm in there and then turn it off a bit. It's stay pretty toasty. But if you look out that window, I'd be looking out there. I'd be cracking some eggs, doing that. There'd be deer out there, right out from the trailer, sitting out there. It's a uh, very soothing and fulfilling to be able to be out with nature like that. And uh, that trailer, that was pretty good. I mean, it's an old trailer. I mean, that thing weighed, I kid you not, this one here is uh, 60, Sixty four hundred pounds, believe it or not, thirty three foot. It may be I think actually I think it's sixty seven hundred pounds. And that little trailer weighed probably a little bit more than this thirty three foot. And it was a uh, it was a twenty two maybe a little bit more than 22 feet it was a, it was a pretty good size it would sleep uh six people they had the dinette make a bed fall down make a bed and then a full bed in the back and uh had the kitchen had a wet bath it didn't have a separate shower but i took a shower in that some game i broke my butt off because the uh, water heater didn't work in it it was just strictly propane water heater didn't have the electric element but uh that was some good times i, I look back on the time like that and yeah can't think about it too much i think about my dogs and things you know that's passed on since then and it it's hard to talk about so but uh Anyway, I think storms probably just done blew by. I haven't seen any lightning out here. I was hoping to get a little rain and settle this dust down. It get dusty out, you know, on these old roads. But, uh, I always be prepared whether you're in a 3,000, 5,000 square foot house. Have you some flashlights. I know you don't have 12 volt stuff. Flashlights, bottled water, gallon water. Uh, if you know a big, uh, pretty good storm is going to knock out some utilities, affect the water and stuff like that. Uh, have a plant. Fill a bathtub up full of water. Uh, you know. A lot of times your uh, <clears throat> bathtub won't hold water for a long period of time. They'll seep out. But uh, you got that. Take some gallon jugs. Take pitchers. Stuff like that. If you keep that tank filled up on your toilet, if you got a one, if you're in the house and you got a tank toilet, this 
fill it up and it'll flush it, you know uh, may sound gross but if all you're doing is uh, urinating you don't have to flush it every time you can take a little bit of pine saw put in there or inside the main bowl there where all your business go a uh, little bit of bleach pine saw dish soap start around with your little brush and you can urinate in that you know and it it's okay it's it's not gross i mean it's but you're saving water conservation is key to long-term surviving because you never know when you're going to get stuff back on so and like like uh the toilets here they don't have a tank on <clears throat> and uh same concept You don't have to flush when you urinate. And save your water. If you're in a trailer, you need to save how much you dump in your black tank. If weather is kind of bad outside, you don't want to have to go out there and pull the plug and shake that line and do all that. I don't care how elevated and loopy doopy you got it. You got to shake the solid out of it because you always do your black tank first and then close it and then do your gray water and that flushes it out that's, that's kind of a cleansing setup always do your black tank first and then close that off and then follow it with the gray tank that way it cleans out your line uh, like I said, in the house, fill your bathtub up. It may not last a whole long time, but I guarantee you, you'll, you'll wish you did. I don't care if you have five gallon buckets, gallon jugs. If, you, if they're predicting some bad stuff coming, be prepared, people. Get you some water. Pitchers, bowls, pans, whatever, pots. Get your water and have it. Just set it all in the bathtub, in the shower stall, whatever. And pour it in the back of the tank of your toilet. Uh, always have bottled water. A uh, gallon, you know, you buy at Walmart for 88 cents, 92 cents. Always have some of that to drink and cook with. A lot of people are solely electric. Uh, you know, have some food that doesn't have to be cooked and prepared. I mean, I've eaten cans of, uh, what do you call that, pork and beans? Man, that's some good stuff. Pork and beans, uh, whatever. Uh, if you have a barbecue grill out back, you can go out there and fire it up, cook something. If you gotta have it cooked. Sandwich meats. Go ahead and start eating your stuff up. You don't know how long power's gonna be off in your house. Just start eating some of that stuff before it gets bad. And then you have your canned foods. I got chicken noodle soups. I got, believe it or not, uh, you know, sausage gravy. Got some bread. It's already cooked. So, see here. Got chicken noodle soups. I got uh, bacon and sausage. Open it up. Got some bread crackers. Good to go. Got canned cooked chicken. Got, uh, got some oatmeal. What is this? Great crop. That's got a blown to the wire. There's zero carb. I've been cutting down, you know, like when I get a hamburger and stuff. I, a lot of times I don't even eat the bread. So much crap in it. And I waited until I was 50 something to start worrying about it. Somewhere up here I got some, uh, 
I got sardines, small cans, big cans of sardines. Yeah, it's good, good for you, good protein. I do this in the soybean oil. That's good for your digestive system. I've got some uh, athlete like the cans of sardines. I've got uh, salmon, regular salmon, smoked salmon, good stuff. Peanut butter, hey, peanut butter is good. In fact, I'm going to be some banging this off. I just can't resist. <sighs> you know, got cereal, got the milk in there. If the power's going to be out for a long time, go ahead and eat up before it ruins. I've got snacks, I've got chips, that's carbohydrates, snacks, comfort foods, comfort foods. To me, a can of Vanda sausage, and i got to get my crackers, and some uh, zingers. Hey, man, that is paradise when you're hungry. Uh, I got some graham crackers too. Graham crackers and peanut butter. Ooh, makes you want to go around slapping people. Gotta love it. Yeah, I probably had some regular crackers. I probably got some saltine somewhere. I'll eat some red crackers. That's pretty good. Man, that's a good item. Glad y'all thought of that. Chicken and dumplings. Chicken and rice. I got all kinds of stuff. I even got some canned uh, mangarine oranges. What do you call that stuff? Man, got me wondering now. So I gotta check all this out. Got a fudge brownie mix up there, and I've got a deal. Look at that sucker there. Y'all done got me going now. I don't know why y'all do that. Well, I have a microwave thing somewhere. Anyway, I got a microwave uh, device, I don't know what you call it. You mix up like one egg, a little bit of oil, and so much uh, brownie mix or cake mix. And you mix it all up, stick it in the microwave for a set amount of time, It's pretty good stuff. I can do the same thing in this dish right here I cook my eggs in. I have made little cakes in this, in the microwave. That's a pretty good idea. I hope y'all are listening, you know, and taking in account the possibility of being without services for quite a while. Some of them storms are so bad, they had tennis ball size hell. Uh, they showed a deal. They're trying to get through. They got an RV. And they're trying to get out of there, trying to get through. People are going to restaurants, they're going to fast food places, trying to get something to eat. They, all around the gas station, there's no power to turn the pumps on, people. McDonald's and them ain't got a microwave to heat them patties up in. Yeah, they use microwaves. Uh, Burger King ain't got a grill to grill their burgers on. I don't think they do that anymore. Everything microwave, electric, 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 electric. So, you pretty much screwed. You ain't gonna get you a Big Mac or a Whopper. No electricity. It ain't that. So, 
think about that stuff, people. Make sure you got plenty of, you know, supplies and stuff to withstand that. But also think you got to keep your damn, keep your house locked up. You keep a little bit of a window open somewhere, where like the front of the house, and a little bit of crack in the curtain somewhere in the back of the house, and keep an eye out. People get real stupid, and they look to take advantage of people in distress. You know, they do. Unfortunately, I guarantee they'll travel from one state to the other just the hopes that they can steal, loot, and do crazy stuff. They do that. That's, that's just all they know. It's sad, but you got to protect yourself. Barricade your doors. You know? All that, so. Anyway, guys. I got the rambling again. But, uh, be prepared. Always be prepared. Think about the what if. If I lose power, there's a fly up there. See? I'm gonna get him. Uh, if I lose power right now, boom. What happened? Hello? It can happen that quick, people. So always be prepared. See ya. I'm gonna go outside and play with some lightning or something. See you next time.